Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel and today is a bit of a different video as I'm going to do a tutorial on how I paint uh, scarred eyes on my Schleich models. Um, it can be a, on any model, it doesn't have to be a wolf or a dog, it can be any Schleich toy, it doesn't have to be Schleich, it can be any any of your toys, any brand, whatever. And you only need a few things. First off, you need a model um, that you're going to be painting on. And I use, the paints I use are Crayola washable paint. It doesn't have to be Crayola as long as, as long as you don't want the paint to be permanent, you need a washable base paint. Um, so I also have red because I will show how to do scars. And then also for the blind eye part, uh, this is actually acrylic paint, but because I paint um, underneath it first with the washable Crayola paint, it's okay to use the acrylic paint, but you just have to be very careful with it as it will not come off if you get it on. And you need a very tiny brush, um, and I would recommend having a paper towel and some water. But yeah, those are all the materials that you need for this, and I will show you how to paint it. Let's begin. So first, I'm going to start with dipping my brush into the white paint and getting some white paint. Um, i to remove that so it focuses. Here we go. Let me make sure you are in frame. So it's kind of awkward how I'm doing it with the camera, but I start the base color with white so this is going to show the blind eye now here I have the eye all covered in white paint um, so I washed my brush off and the next step to do is to let this eye dry and then I'll come back when it dries so you can use acrylic paint if you want, but just keep in mind that if you do use acrylic paint or any non-washable paint, that it will not come off. And that's why I use Crayola washable paint. You can use any other type of washable paint as well, but I just have this paint from a long time ago and it's still good, so I use it still. But I definitely prefer to do washable stuff because I don't want to ruin my models by painting on them, um, unless I'm doing like a complete, like, my own little design or color on them or whatever, you know? So now the paint is pretty much dry, so my next step I'm going to do is take my light baby blue paint. You can use a dark blue as well, but I would recommend using the lightest blue you have as possible to make it look the best, so I just dip very tip of the brush in the paint just get a tiny bit on here like so and then we're going to go over to the eye make sure the camera is focused there we go and we're just gonna go in the middle now for the blue part so that is the pupil and you don't want to make that too big because that is the smallest part of the eye you can look at the other eye to see like where the placement of that pupil is and how big it is and you can kind of gauge it off of that um but yeah that's basically what i do for the blind eye and then i go in with my red paint for some extra finishing details and I add a scar along the eye because that's what I like. You don't have to do this. This part's optional. Um, just make sure my camera focuses. I'm going to move this. Um, but yeah, I just take red. It's hard to accurately paint on camera and get everything in frame. So I just went ahead and painted my scar. And that's it. And you can paint scars elsewhere on the body as well. So that's how I paint a blind eye and scars on my Schleich models. It doesn't have to be Schleich. It can be any brand, any toy. Um, but yeah, that's how I do it. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. And it would be cool to see some of um, your paints as well. Um, I mean, if you do decide to paint this and you tell me in the comments maybe i'll check a couple out maybe um i would like to see that would be pretty cool um but yeah so that's how i paint a blind eye and that's how i paint scars on my models 
So there you go. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have an awesome day.